Hello everyone. The first thing we need to set up environment. As I said in the previous video, so we have Python installed in our machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Flask. So open your command prompt and just type this command pip install flask it will take a while because since it's downloading the data from the internet so the requirement already satisfied the reason is the flask functionalities or the flask dependencies is already available in my local machine that is why we are getting requirement already satisfied or else if you're installing the flask first time you can get all the messages like the requirement has installed okay so this is the first step so the flask is available in our local region so what we are going to do now so let's create a new python script and we'll start implementing Let's create a new file. Uh, okay, let's call it a Python Web Services. Services. Dot py. Okay. So, the what what is the first thing we need? Web server. Because if you don't have a web server, there is no need for the web services. If in order to handle your request and response, you need to have a server in place to handle your request and responses. Okay, so let's create a server. So the way we are doing that, you need to have a Flask implementations. So it won't available directly. You need to import from Flask. Okay. So how are we going to do that from? flask import flask okay so now we have flask libraries are available let's create a server app is equal to and using a flask constructor and this is the way you need to do it double underscore name and double underscore so this particular app this particular app holds the server now so the server is ready we need to start the server or run the server so I'm just checking whether the server is server name and discord name just make sure it's double underscore equal to double underscore main So if it is main, then we need to run the application server. Okay, so now we have the server in place, and it it is it will be in running condition. So when you start your program, your application will start your web server using that server we can test our own methods okay the first thing how to write a simple api for example a welcome message just write a simple method so i'm going to write a simple methods definition welcome So the message I'm printing here, print, welcome to Python. Welcome to Python Web Services. Or else we can simply return. See, return. I 
don't need this. Okay, I have a method which will return welcome to Python web services. So I'm going to use this method as a rest method. So the first thing is I'm going to convert this particular method as a rest method. The way you need to do that, the root, root means the path. Each and every method has to have its own path because you have a different 10 methods, each and everything has a different path. So path means to identify which service I'm going to call. The way we need to do that, use at app dot root. So since it's a landing page, I don't want to do anything. I'm just just giving the slash. So what we are going to do is, let's check this method, whether it is working. So the implementation which we did, is it right or wrong? So the way to do that, the first thing you need to start the server and we don't know which port number our web service is going to run. Just right click and run Python file in terminal. So what is happening here? C here running on port number one two. I mean localhost. The port number is five thousand. So we have the basic setup ready. So I have the web server and I have a simple API method which will return the welcome message. And when I run the program, I have my server started and it is listening to a 5000 port. So in the next video, what we are going to discuss, how we are going to test the method. So let's meet each other in the next video. Thank you. Hello everyone. So what we do, what we need here, I need something to test my services. The way we need to do that, we need to have a clients. So since it's a web service, we need to have a web clients. So there are a lot of different clients available in, in the internet. The famous one is Postman and we have a advanced risk clients as well. So how are you going to get the, the rest clients? So the way you can do that, open your browser and just look for this Postman rest extension and go to Chrome store here you can find the postman since I already installed the postman I have an option called launch application here so for you it will be install application so once it's installed just launch the application loading now okay just close this and just close this as well so this is the the interface which the postman interface for testing your rest apis so just let's check our method this is a get method because I'm just getting some information okay so this is just a get method or if you want to specify this is a get method you need to provide the method as well methods vault this is the gate method. Just stop the server. Control C to stop the server. So now I have a web server ready and I have a API also which will return the welcome message and that is a gate method. And the root and the path is it's just a landing page. Just render method, I mean render script. And as I said we have our application running on the local host and uh, the port number is 5000 and let's do that so http 
one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one and the port number is five thousand and the slash so let's click this so phone and phone so what is the error here okay let's go back to the client program let's see what happened wrong okay so let's keep it in a format I think in the file is not saved properly so I'm going to keep the server in the bottom to make sure the methods are defined in a proper structure so I have a flash ready and the application is running here and this is the root method and this is the get method so just save it the, if the reason it's not working earlier the program was not saved properly I mean it is not saved so just stop the server so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the program again run python file and terminal and go back to your postman client and just hit the request again that's it so Welcome to Python Web Services. This is a message which we returned as a part of the Welcome API. Okay.